All right, so this is gonna be a video about the atom. Basically, this video is gonna be answering the question, what is the atom? What proof do we have that atoms exist? Why can't we actually see atoms? And who cares? What's the big deal about atoms to begin with? So the first thing we're gonna start with is what is the atom? Basically, the atom is just the simplest part of matter. And if you remember, matter is just anything that takes up space. Back in the BC era, this is where the idea of the atom first originated. It originally, it was based on the idea that there is a limit to how many times we can divide matter up. The atom basically represented the limit to where we cannot divide matter any further. It is important to note that this was just an idea. There was no proof of this. There were no experiments that proved this. It was just an idea that a philosopher had back in the day. It wasn't until the 1800s that we actually got proof that atoms existed. A scientist did a certain experiment and he found that the chemicals always reacted in whole number ratios. For example, if you had hydrogen and you mixed it with oxygen, it always formed a whole number ratio of H2O. It was never H2.1, O, 1.37. There was never any fractions. It was always H2 and then there was only one O. So it was always H2O when it was forming water. Now you might be thinking, big deal. Well, how does this prove that atoms actually exist? Well, these whole number ratios basically imply that the atoms are always whole. This implies that atoms cannot be broken down. You can't have fractional atoms. This implies that atoms are the simplest part of matter and proves that there is a limit to how far you can break down matter. So you might be thinking, why can't you actually see atoms though? That would be the easiest proof if you could actually see them. Well, seeing anything is based on light reflecting off of an object and back into the eyes of a person. The visible light that you see has a certain wavelength that is smaller than most of the objects that you see every single day, but it's the right size for you to still be able to see it based on the size of your eye. So meaning it's not too small for your eye, it's also not too big for your eye. This wavelength is just right. The problem is this visible light, these wavelengths of visible light are too big for the atom. So the atom never is actually able to reflect off any of that visible light so that it can be seen by someone else. This means that humans, as we know them, will never be able to see atoms. Just simply put, because our visible light that we can see is much too big for an atom. However, we can use lower wavelength light to detect atoms. X-rays have a much lower wavelength than visible light. So much smaller that we can't actually even see X-rays ourselves. But the X-rays that we shine onto atoms and then they reflect off the atoms can be detected and then we can actually use those detectors to be able to paint a better picture of what the atom actually looks like. So you might be thinking, who cares about atoms? What's the big deal behind studying this? That's great that they exist, but what can we actually do with that? Well, atoms are the simplest part of matter as we talked about before, and matter makes up everything. So theoretically, if you can control atoms, then theoretically you can control anything. So that means that we can alter atoms to do what we want them to do so we can design things better, so we can invent things better, so we can have smaller technology. And these applications are huge, especially in science, engineering, computing, medicine, nanotechnology, pretty much anything that we deal with is gonna be completely based off of the study of the atom. So that's the atom. If you have any questions about anything in this video, let me know.